Alright, in this video, we're going to look at um, what the idea of a translation is. Now, translation, we're referring specifically to the movement of points on a two-dimensional plane or shapes or anything that fits on two dimensions, and that's what we're looking at. We could extend this to three dimensions and, and word translations, all kinds of situations, but here, we're just looking at um, translation. So here, ABC is a triangle, is in yellow, and this is a website, this is from mathopenreference.com, wonderful website. I love their explanations, and I love the little animations. This is just one of them that they use to help understand what's going on. Now, this gray square here, notice it's, it's also called ABC, but these little slashes, right, the little commas, and the way we say that is it's A prime, B prime, C prime. And that just lets us know that in this new triangle, A prime is the same thing as A, but in a different location. B is prime is the same thing as B, but in a different location, and C prime is the same thing as C, but in a different location. So that they represent the same points, just in a different spot. And that's what translation is all about. If we start with the, the gray triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime, on our original shape, we have exact the exact same thing. But if I shift it a little bit, I have the same shape, just moved, it's congruent. I'm just sliding it, right? And translations can go left and right. They can go um, up or down. And they can go combinations of a little bit to the right, a little bit up. Um, they can go down here. They can go anywhere you want. The idea is you're taking a shape and sliding it. So a translation, I, and I love how they say it here on the website, you can think of it as a slide of the shape. So you take a shape and you slide it around. And let me just show you the cool little mnemonic they have. So to translate, translate, right, that means to slide a shape, and you can see it right here in the SL. So translate means slide. And if you want to think about what that will mean uh, mathematically, that means if you take a point x, y, if you want to translate it, you plug it into some translation function, what's it going to look like? Well, that means you're going to take x, y, and you're going to add something to x. It could be positive or negative, so you're adding a positive or negative value. So some people write add or subtract. And then same thing with y, you're going to add or subtract some value. And it could be it could be different values. Like for example, I could add nothing to x, and a lot to y, or nothing to y, and then a lot to x. And all that will do. So if I add a lot to the y values, that means I'm going to change the height, but not the left right position. So the x values, if I add, I go to the right. If I subtract on the x values, I go to the left. With um, the y values, if I add, I'm moving up. And if I add negative amounts, or if I subtract a positive amount. I'm moving down. So x, right is positive, left is negative. The y values, adding value goes up, adding negative value or subtracting value goes down. And that's the idea of a translation. The shape remains the same, it's just slid around on the plane that we're on. Okay, I hope that helped.